Right, right. So you want some travel advice from somebody who's really experienced. So my name's Caitlin and I've been traveling to like literally everywhere. I I went with my girlfriends to like a world um, tour, right? Like world tour, that sounds fancy. But we went, basically, we took a gap year and we just did loads of traveling. And we just, you know, we always wanted to travel, the three of us. We always dreamed about like seeing new places, like gaining new wisdom and things like that. And we went through school. We were finished with college. We, you know, we all got really good grades. Um, We all have really supportive parents. So we gained a lot of like knowledge about the world through schooling and we knew a lot about what to do how to live on our own how to like uh, cook and get everything we need to survive and and you know they were really supportive our parents it took a bit of like persuasion of course at the, uh, in the beginning but they were soon like totally ready to let us go like the three of us and it was fantastic we actually went and it was like we saved all our money and we put it together and we planned like this world trip and we were gonna like visit places that you know some of the places we totally randomly chose off the map and some of the places were places we always dreamed of going to and um advice we should have looked for more advice for before we started traveling that's that's definitely true and so I would say that before you start traveling realize that even though you've grown up in the UK even though you've gotten the best schooling and you just like you learned you, you feel so wise you know and so liberated by our society and the ability to just tread the earth and kind of you know do whatever you want um to, I would advise you to be careful and realize that there are some experiences which you cannot learn from school some surprises that will definitely jump out at you when you're traveling and to realize that you no matter you know no matter how good you've done in school you are so naive and that's what I that's what I realized with my with my mates when we went out and traveled together and so we were all really excited and we like we even went shopping before we traveled to get like the best clothes feel super fancy you know feel super comfortable in our skins when we when we start you know traveling and we packed our suitcases with all kinds of things that we we were certain we'd need, you know. And let me just tell you right now, half of those things were absolutely useless, you know. And we started travelling. Been to South Africa, been to India, been to the Caribbean. We've been literally all around the world we're in north we've been south we've been to hot cold you know rainy dry places everything been to snowy places been to really hot places and been to places with very different mentalities and attitudes to things we take for granted here in Britain in the UK what we did we took a gap year after college and we went traveling but I would give a bit more time like do little by little go first to Italy or Germany uh, Spain or something and and don't go so far we went traveling with no necessary experience you know what to do when you get sick what to do when you get like mobbed like attacked in the street because you didn't do your research and you didn't know that you shouldn't have gone down that area and that's a bad area we didn't do that kind of thing we were very naive we just went where we wanted to we felt that uh, the world was our oyster and that we had a right to just kind of step wherever we wanted to and speaking of the shopping we did right before we left 
listen, boys and girls, be really careful what you're wearing before you enter a religious like temple or something because if you're not wearing if you didn't do your research and you don't know what's appropriate to wear then you might expect some bad verbal or even physical assault sometimes like you know basically you know ripped like short shorts and a tank top is usually deemed unacceptable inappropriate so do your research be careful what you're wearing in different public places we went to some places where you know we had this idea we we're like free women we we can look out for ourselves but not everybody has that outlook in the whole in in the whole world so if you go somewhere where don't expect them to have the same kind of like respect for women or like expect them to think that you're free as a woman that you have equal rights to men and all that because not everyone believes that you know and that's something we realized when we went traveling that we weren't aware of before we went to the places in question where they didn't really have the same um, beliefs about women as we do in the UK so that was rather unpleasant at times it was hard to get out of unpleasant situations you get into all kinds of trouble for not behaving like as um as su- as suitably as you should of uh, in the opinion of the people living there even women were scolding us for being the way we were you know wearing what we want acting the way we wanted doing what we wanted it's not always like appreciated you know wherever you go so you've got to do your research make sure that you're not bringing any trouble basically and so like uh, also watch out about like like certain animals like that you don't know about what happens if you get bitten by a certain creature you have you just wake up with some kind of bump on your leg and you don't really know like is this life threatening or is it something that's just going to pass in a week you know you just don't know also make sure you actually done a course in survival before you go and live in a forest for a week like do camping we never done camping and we shouldn't have really done that you know it was really really unpleasant because most of the time we were just figuring out how to uh, get immediate kind of relief from various discomforts that we took for granted getting relief for in the UK you know so when you're out in the open where there's no one to help you and not even a hospital you know you've got to really be careful that there are no health hazards around you and no predatory animals (laughs) um well we never had such an encounter but we did have a threat of it um there was this large dog that just appeared and we all started screaming. We didn't know what to do, uh, panicking. Basically, every girl running in a different direction. Uh, the, the animal makes a noise and we all scream in response. It was really disorganised and really badly planned, basically, and really, really naive of us to, you know, it was just a dog. It was It was just a bit of a large dog really yeah and we just abandoned all our things and just ran and it's it's better to stick together when there's a dangerous situation but we just ran from each other and we were alone for a while and there were no there was no signal there so we were just kind of lost from each other for some time and we had to like we spent most of that camping week just finding each other basically so yeah my tips for like um doing a worldwide travel is to really 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 do your research and before you start traveling worldwide to possibly do like like a little bit of travel like not too far and to maybe when you decide to travel really far away to make sure you have an experienced friend or somebody with you who knows what to do 
in emergency situations if someone falls ill if someone gets bitten if there is a predatory animal if there is chance of something terrible happening basically you know we we three were lucky we went through all kinds of really difficult situations but we got through it all and we were lucky and we lived to tell the tale but not everyone does you know there are lots of teenagers who don't survive such trips you know and we really learned that that is a possibility on our trip so that's all I wanted to say really thanks